Devil Hunters Chainsaw Man Chapter 177 is titled Trigger Finger, but honestly, it should be called Dump Truck because the moment we found out last week that Yoru is officially a mommy, mommy Yoru, Fujimoto said in Chapter 177, boys, we got to confirm she's a mommy. How? By showing this one image right here. That is a dump truck. We've never seen that dump truck before until now. So Fujimoto is saying something. We know Fujimoto Fujimoto has a record of, you know, liking mommies, whether it's Makima, whether it's the mother motif from last week, whether it's mommy Santa Claus, mommy falling devil. Man, Fujimoto, I see where you're at. There's a lot of things we got to talk about in this chapter, but the first thing that came in my mind is that dump truck never existed up until now. It's been a, it's been a wild few weeks for your boy. Now, there's a conversation that Asa had with Yoru in this chapter talking about about the kin you gave up your children do you feel good about it at the end of the day yoru will do what she can to win and although she's telling asa children are the properties of their parents right and i know that sounds like some antagonist vile evil shit but we know she's lying obviously she feels remorseful there's even one specific panel early on in the chapter where she's like looking at her hands and she's like oh shit like i said i would do what i would have to do to get the job done but clearly there's some remorse and what also doesn't help which leads me to my next point is when asa ends up asking yoru killing pochita is going to save denji right and we don't see yoru's face but she's like well that's what famine said and going off of the conversation they had earlier with her children i think this is indirectly also implying and maybe she knew all along that Baby just says a lot of shit. I don't believe it, but this is my justification to eliminate Pochita once and for all. So Asa, I'm gonna say this is what Famine said, but does Yoru actually believe it? No. Not at all. And I think there's a part where even Asa knows that this is a lie, but she's easily being led on to this deceit because, well, she doesn't really know how else to combat this scenario that she's in, right? Like, she either tells Yoru to stop and she forcibly stops, and that's going to cause a huge rip off of their relationship, and we've seen their dynamic grow to what it is now, or she still believes in the best of people, but of course, in the best of people that she believes in, is a horseman of the apocalypse famine and we know that can't lead to anything good so i do like how everything that has led up to now with pochita emerging and causing all this destruction with little subtle talks of fami 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 is around the corner so we'll have to wait and see now that the mouth devil is officially out fami can't eat again so just keep that in the back of your mind now Let's go ahead and just talk about the ongoing battle between Pochita and Yoru. Because although we've seen Yoru do some capable beats when she does the infamous signature Makima Bang, we see the recoil hit Pochita. Pochita blocks it, but he's still sent flying across the building, which need I remind you that anyone doing that to Pochita is already a force to be reckoned with. Instead of Pochita saying, let's go for round two, Yoru antagonizes Pochita and Pochita says, look, I need blood to recover and let's go to a panel that looks very similar to the homage that we've seen Pochita interact with Kobeni. And I really thought for a second when I read this chapter that that was actually Kobeni. And I'm like, wow, Fujimoto, you are a mastermind. But alas, that was in the case anyway this person has a sign that says uh, blood bank donate blood donate blood and this is how we know pochita and maybe even a semblance of denji is still obviously inside pochita i mean i know literally he is but like what i'm saying like in the head he's still there because pochita needs blood we know devils have to consume blood to regenerate their lost limbs regain strength etc 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 but we see here although pochita could have done the easy thing and consumed this person to regrow his two arms he doesn't do that so there's still clearly a conscious there there's still a good heart there and we know denji's a good person we know pochita's a good person to me i'm like oh no there's some type of control there that pochita is still refusing to do is wanting to do the right thing and is not willing to kill anyone just to get back into the fight i will say just to backtrack a little bit pochita going so fast from point a to 
point B to where he was battling Yoru to the Blood Bank, wherever that is. The speed feats are impressive. I know when it comes to Chainsaw Man, there's not a lot of power scaling like you can do with Dragon Ball Z and One Piece and Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm just saying Pochita speed feats are so freaking impressive, okay? Now, let's go back to America because Fujimoto takes us to Austin, Texas, where approximately 400,000 people of the National Pistol Association of America's 3.5 million members lose their index fingers. And we see Yoru pointing up to the ceiling like she's a K-pop pop idol and it parallels to an image of the statue of liberty doing the same exact pose and what is seemingly happening here because we see fujimoto does a close-up to the statue of liberty and the statue of liberty cracking now if we're bringing up members of the pistol association and you know how like with the hybrid devils there's like the katana man the long sword but they're all kind of stem from the same cloth so i'm curious to know if Yoru is summoning like the pistol devil or is that just still an affiliation obviously with the gun devil and what we're really going to see here is that the sacrifices of these 400,000 people in this association is where the remaining parts of the gun devil lie and they were lying within the Statue of Liberty the entire time. I mean, you know, when you look at the Statue of Liberty and what it represents, the universal symbol of freedom, is the parallel that Fujimoto is showcasing between Yoru and the Statue of Liberty that Yoru is becoming more free with her true authentic self, despite her being conflicted with what she's telling Asa? Maybe it's the Statue of Liberty devil. Maybe it is a pistol devil, but I like knowing that Yoru is still on the attack while Pochita is trying to recover. And I guess to really quickly just put a bow tie on that, I know some people are saying, could this allude to us finally seeing power again or the reborn again blood devil? Well, if there's any other way Fujimoto would reintroduce it, now would be the time. And although it's still better late than never, then I kind of welcome it. But what do you guys think? Is this where we will see the reborn again blood devil? A lot of people are seeing power. I still don't think it's going to be power, but we'll have to wait and see. We will talk about this more in the live stream discussion, which you can go ahead and click right here. Take care.